Hello, you're watching 60 Minutes with your host, Steve Croft. Today we are going to take a very in-depth look at the very controversial matter of the legalization of marijuana. Today I'm going to sit down with three well-known men from the political and sports world. The former President George W. Bush will be joining us, along with 14-time gold medalist Michael Phelps and former Governor of California, Arnold Schwarzenegger. These men are highly educated in this matter and have their own perspectives to share with us. So let's get right to it. I went to the former president's winter home in Breckenridge, Colorado to get a chance to learn his opinions on the legalization of marijuana. Hey, Mr. President, how are you doing today? I'm good, thanks, Steve. I just have a few questions for you. Oh, all right. right. Yeah. Uh, number one, what, is, what are your thoughts on the uh, recreational use of marijuana, the legalization of it? Well, Steve, the way I see it, marijuana is a lot like war. It's great for the economy. Yeah. Of course the economy is playing a big role, but how big? Is there a more in-depth use for this medicine? Well, Steve, I'll tell you. Off the record here, of course. I'm sure as hell when I say there were no WMDs in Iraq. But when it comes to the economy, you gotta do what you gotta do. Back in 02, them Iraqis needed a lick and a three. And now, all America needs to do is kick it and get on what I like to call the ganja train. Now, Mr. President, what exactly is your history with marijuana? Well, Steve, there may have been a time too bad in my college days, but, uh, well, let me ask you this. What do you think I did down in Prairie Chapel? Well, Mr. President, were you perhaps on the ganja train? Holy Toledo, Steve! What kind of president do you think I was? I mean, sir, I mean, uh... Of course I was on the goddamn ganja train! Next, I asked Michael Phelps, 14-time gold medalist, about his opinions of the legalization of marijuana. Hello, you're watching 60 Minutes, and I'm here with 14-time gold medalist, Michael Phelps. Michael, how are you doing today? Good, Steve. How are you? Very nice. My first question for you, what are your thoughts on the legalization of recreational use of marijuana? Well, you know, Steve, uh, it helps people like me, helps people all around the world deal with having a really stressful life. I was born into a family of winners. And um, it's hard. It's hard to compete with them. So I think that marijuana is a very good way to get away. Way to get away from all the stressfulness in life. Well, clearly, Michael, uh, marijuana might not be the most healthy thing for you. How does that affect you in and out of the water? Well, Steve, to answer your question, here's nine of them right here. I don't go anywhere without one of these at the the Beijing Olympics. Just for the occasion, I brought a couple more. 10, 11, 12, 13, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 99, 100. I just wanted to show you, Steve, just a couple of my medals that I won for swimming. So to answer your question, does it affect me? Even if it does, I don't give a flying butterfly. All right, boys, that's a wrap. Five minute commercial break. You know, Michael, those are some solid takes, and you know, that's a great job, great job. Thanks, Steve. No problem. No, Steve. Can I talk to you about something? Hey, anything, man. I'm here for you. No, you know, I didn't want to say this on the air, but um, you in America, they might notice that I have a lisp. You know? But, um, do you know why? I mean, I, I don't know, man. Well, I had a lesson. Back in grade school, I was made fun of a lot. I didn't really have many friends. And, um, you know, so I started swimming. But I found, like, myself. I found myself in the pool. And, um, no friends, you know, just a mom. I loved it. I found myself really in the pool, and that's where I lived, so, you know, I spent all my time in the pool, and, um, I got really good, obviously, but, I don't know, I didn't have any friends, I didn't have any friends, there was nothing I could do, besides, like, just swimming, smoke, I guess. That's why marijuana is so important to me.
Enter. I don't think I'm ready. Our last guest, Arnold Schwarzenegger, took time of his day to share his thoughts on the legalization of marijuana. Hello, you're watching 60 Minutes with your host, Steve Croft. And we're going to sit down with our next guest, our, our, our Arnold Schwarzenegger. Jesus. Anyways, Arnold, uh, what are your thoughts on the legalization of marijuana? Well, you know, when I smoke weed, it's just as satisfying as lifting. So for me, it will be great. So Arnold, did you smoke while you lifted? Well, you know, when I lift, it makes me very angry. But when I smoke and lift, it calms me down. So I never actually killed anybody. In the gym, I mean. So Arnold, how did that affect your acting career? As you know, I played John Kimbo in Kindergarten Cup. What else can I say? How will the legalization of marijuana affect the California economy? Well, you know, now California is known as the Golden State, but after weed is legalized, it will probably be known as the Marijuana State. Why is that? Well, just like lifting does to me, weed will get California big. Clearly the topic of the legalization of marijuana is no laughing matter. This has been 60 Minutes with your host, Steve Croft. I hope you enjoyed the show. I was banging with a gang of instrumentals Got the pins and pencils 